Hey everybody, it's Deanna Durrell, your intuitive relationship coach and spiritual mentor. And today I wanted to share the message for August. So your goddess guidance oracle message. For each week in August, I have pulled an oracle card and I will interpret it. And I encourage you, if this is your first time, to subscribe to the YouTube channel and get a sheet of paper out. And as the cards are going up, you can write down your insights because you will get your own information as to what these cards mean. So I'm going to give you a couple of really important dates. Uh, August 3rd, yesterday we had the full moon in Aquarius. So full moons bring culmination. They bring endings and illumination. So things may have come to light. A lot of people have shared that they feel uh, just very sensitive to the energies of the world. And that's totally common. Aquarius is a sign of forward thinking, of innovation. And when it comes to matters of the heart, it can trigger a need for independence, for autonomy, for mixing things up in the bedroom, and for thinking bigger. So how are we going to operate as a couple if you're in a partnership for a greater cause or a greater good? If you're single, how can I lead my life and all my relationships in a way that is going to be of a greater purpose than just my little world? So the first card that I got is Answering the Call, and these are from Denise Lynn's Sacred Traveler deck. If you haven't seen these, they're just absolutely gorgeous cards. I love using them. So Answering the Call, <laughs> and underneath it says the time is now. So in this first week of August, it's really asking you to step through portals that have been opened. So things that have finished, new doors that are opening, you may feel scared or unsure or unclear, but go with the information that you have. It will lead you to the other side, which as you can see from this card is quite beautiful, but you may have to kind of muddle through some fears, old insecurities that come up, that kind of thing. So if I were to give you a watchword for this first week, it is take a risk or risk. You'll never know if you don't try it and you'll have more information after doing whatever the thing is. <laughs> then we have Lionsgate, which is happening on August 8th. So it's 8-8. It's on Saturday. And so you want to write that down. Hi. <laughs> you want to write that down because this is an opportunity. Again, another, another portal, another door is going to be opened on Saturday for you to move into a higher place with regards to relationships, with regards to career, and it, it literally can feel like the universe is lifting you up and like pushing you forward, whether you like it or not. So I always say for Lionsgate, it's an ideal time and weekend to do a lot of energy work on yourself, to do mindset work on yourself, and to really sink in to what are some of the fears? What is the worst that can happen if I went for my dream or if I went to the next level in this relationship? Like really addressing the dragon or the elephant in the room so that when it's time for you to be <laughs> lovingly pushed forward anyways, it's not such a jolt to the system. And if you are interested in getting support with that, I do have uh, Alliance Gate Healing special going on and I'll put the link in the notes a bit later. But let's go to week two in August. Discovering truth. And underneath the card it says you stand in the light of truth. So after this full moon, after Lionsgate, there's a lot that's going to be revealed. If you look at the card, there's like two travelers going one way and this this guy is like going his own path and that's you. So next week may have you venturing into new territory, not quite like finding your footing yet, but this is a card that says, as long as you keep going, you're going to discover what the truth is in a situation and it's going to be for your highest good. And when you can stand in truth and you stand in clarity and power, 
So if week one was take a risk, week two is be open to truth. Okay. And then the third week, I don't have my calendar in front of me, but third week, August 18th, I believe, we have a new moon in Leo, which is all about really stepping up your courage and expanding your heart chakra. So you may be feeling all the feels in week three, really wanting to be seen. It's a great week to pay attention to your appearance if you've been wanting to get a haircut or try a new um, you know, clothing style, just again, for the sake of experimentation, the new you that's emerging, let that unfold. And that new moon on the 18th is going to help you to spotlight yourself, um, to be seen in a bigger way and to come from a place that is heart centered, which we all need very much right now in the world. And the card is miracles. Look at that, how beautiful. It reminds me of Aladdin. And it says, expect the wondrous to emerge. If you look at his expression, he's just calm, he's receiving. And there's a theme around worthiness this month. Can you feel worthy of more than you ever dreamed of receiving? So often we have a cap for how much we receive. We say we want something and then we get a taste of, of getting it and it freaks our subconscious out. So we really have to be mindful of that and keep that channel open. And then as we get to the last week of August, wise leader, so wisdom. You will have gained a lot of wisdom by the end of this month you will have literally like taken a stand for yourself in a way that you may have not before. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says you are a beacon for others. So again, that's circling back to the theme, which is how can you let your life be a symbol for something greater than just your own inner world? It's going to be a fun month. It's going to be a packed month. I can't wait to see what unfolds for you. Let's recap again. Week one, take risks. We're in it right now. <laughs> take advantage of the healing and opportunities that are coming up. Week two, expect truths to be revealed. Keep going. Week three, miracles unfold if you will allow yourself to receive. And as you do so, you emerge the wise leader of your life. Thank you guys so much for watching. For more, please check out the website at dianadurrell.com. And if I can be of any assistance, let me know and check out the Lionsgate Healing. If you have any friends that you know could benefit from this, please share this with them and have a beautiful, beautiful month.